I recently ordered my heritage DNA test to check my genetic risk for developing certain health conditions such as the Alzheimer's, heart disease and others. So what did I find out? And do I recommend such tests? Well, let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel. As you probably know, I've been interested in biohacking for many years. I tried lots of different strategies that could help me improve my cognitive performance, my physical performance, and even my health. Just recently, I came across the DNA test and I was thinking, what if I tried to order one and see what happens, what kind of results uh, do I get? So I went online, I searched for the best test and somehow I came across my heritage test. I decided to order it, I paid around 200 bucks for it and today we're gonna see what I got in this box, uh, how to do such a DNA test and later in the second part of the video I'm gonna show you my results. So if you're ready guys, let's just begin. By the way guys, did you ever do such a DNA test? Let me know in the comment section below. So let's see what's waiting for me in this test. So. Oh, outside the options. That's the box. You can see it here. I'm gonna open it now. I didn't open it before, so I don't honestly know what's happen happening and waiting for me here. So there's a DNA kit activation reminder. So obviously I have to activate your DNA kit before sending back your sample. That's that. And there's an activation code and so on. All right. And here are the instructions, how to do it. All right, I'm gonna read them in a bit. And there are, well, some ampules, wait, like this. There are two of them in. And the swaps, there's one. And obviously the second one. And this is, what's this? I have no idea what's waiting inside. Well, I don't know what is this used for, but Oh, look at this logo, biohazard, yeah, let's leave this here. So let me just read all the instructions, do the test, send it to the company and wait for the results. So what have I done? I checked the instructions, I logged into the uh, MyHeritageDNA site, I answered some of the questions, um, now I'm gonna take the samples follow the procedure and send them everything back to the company and see what happens. So I just got back the results from my heritage DNA and actually I'm quite surprised by what I got, what kind of results they sent me. Um, the whole process took about two weeks uh, from the moment I took the samples, I shipped them the samples and then yeah, it, I waited for about two weeks to get the results. Actually I see everything here and I'm gonna show you some pictures as well. But basically I got two types of results. First are related to my health. And the second one is related to my DNA. Um, it's about uh, ethnicity estimate. So if we start with the DNA, so the results show that I'm half East European, which is probably, well, the way they define it is, is not really true because I'm originally from Slovenia, which is a West European country, but doesn't matter. I mean, they sometimes mix that kind of stuff, but yeah, it kind of makes sense. So I'm half East European, I'm 35% Balkan from Balkan, and I'm about 20% uh, North and West European, which is, you know, quite interesting. I got about 2,500 matches with different people, and I actually do know some relatives that the, uh, also took the my heritage test. So that's actually quite interesting, and I can definitely confirm that the test results are probably um, accurate to a certain uh, amount. So that's very mm, interesting to see. Now the second thing I got was related to my health. So, um, you know, I, I see results from my, you know, if I have any genetic risks and if I'm, a, you know, the, I can check the carrier status. When it comes to genetic risks, um, you can see, you know, different genetic risks for different diseases. And I have an average risk for 
uh, most of the diseases uh, like uh, for example heart disease like Crohn's disease and that kind of stuff I uh, have a slightly decreased uh, risk for Alzheimer's disease to HIV infection um, to uh, age related degeneration uh, degeneration and celiac disease and I have a slightly increased risk for type 2 diabetes which is something good to know because I mean I am uh, eating mainly plant-based diet so you know type 2 diabetes is a non-existing problem between uh, you know for people who eat high quality whole foods uh, plant-based diet uh, but still it's good to know that and when it comes to carrier status um, you know you get a result of all potential diseases that you're a carrier for um, and for example I, I'm likely a carrier for uh, non syndromic hearing loss which is quite interesting I didn't even know this exists um, and I'm not a carrier for any of other diseases which is um, you know good to know and yeah those are the results I got so would I recommend doing such a test honestly yes especially the interesting part is the health part because you can really see if you carry any predispositions any uh, if you have any genes um, that, that you know might uh, may increase the risk of getting a certain disease or condition um, so that's really good to know because you can of course avoid many of them um, and that's why I recommend this test if you have any questions guys do let me know don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook and Instagram and I hope to see you soon. Take care.